Hello, gourmet friend, how are you? Today, I'm going to give you one of my little secrets. The one we made the sable, uh, a different color for decoration. Today, it's just decoration, all right? Just see if I can uh, show you something that you like, and it's easy to do. Only three ingredients, just butter. I always buy the chef's choice. <laughs> parmesan, grated parmesan and plant flour. That's it. Have a look and enjoy the show. Remember, thumbs up if you see value in the video, subscribe to the channel in support and ring this bell. You won't miss the next video. Uh, in the bowl, in the glass bowl, we're going to add uh, the flour and we're going to add the Parmesan. And the butter, all simple. And I put my glove because it's uh, sticky. You mix all the flour, the parmesan, all together. You make a little bit of dough like that. No water, no eggs, free ingredient. Okay, you do like that. We have to divide the dough in two, 280. We have to make a nice uh, little bubble and we're going to roll it. Now, we do some holes in this one and we're going to add a bit of coloring, not too much. So, one drop in each corner. You try with one, well, two drops, all right? And then See what's happened? What you do, you mix in your hand, again. Good. See, very soft, very soft. And you got both, same texture, ready to roll, baby. Now the roller, we're going to do the well, so uh, I make a little rectangular there. See, roughly uh, seven and a half. Now what we do, we're going to roll and on a piece of paper on top, then you got another one. Oh, if you don't want to see the mark, you turn the paper. Okay, same with this one. All right, you keep this one and then you can roll the dough smoothly for the same size. When it comes here, aha, that's what to do now. You stop, you remove the first and then you close. At both ends, then you you would be making a nice regular rectangle. Beautiful. Like that, so you can start by hand and you roll. It's okay. Suggest we put that uh, in the fridge to make it a bit hard, and then after you'll be cutting straps. We're going to do now one the same with this one. You separate this one in two, and you do the same thing there. Good, got another one ready. Same. Oh, this one, the ink on the top. You 
when you reach the side, you stop rolling. Now you remove the top. Okay, okay, the white one now will roll slowly. Put that in the fridge now, and we're going, to, when it's cold, we're going to cut stripes. Now, what I do now, I just marked here, every one centimeter, and with a knife, I'll be cutting stripes of only. Five millimeters. That means half of the bar there. That's a more delicate operation. And you leave with the spatula. And then we're going to cut the white one. We need to give it a bit of mark for the one centimeter section. That's one and we cut half. Okay, then you take your little and put it here. Okay, now you got the green and the white. Okay, and so on. Okay, this was pretty. Now get back to the, the green one. Same. Get a few green one. What we do now, we're going to roll to blot them. Oh, you cut a little bit to make it nice uh, all regular we give a little gap of uh, probably uh, one centimeter and stick like already not too much but on the side we don't want them to expand On the side, you fold and you block here. Now, but with a roller, we want to stick together and they can expand a little bit this way. Okay. They expand both ways. You remove carefully the paper. And what you got here, the magnificent roll. Or you can do even a little bit more at the end. All right. And ready to cook. Oh, see if you want to make it. See, not it's not uh, stick well there. It's okay. So you make a nice fresh cut at both ends. This one is not bad. For presentation. Well done. And because we want to cook uh, the long one, maximum, uh, this one we can do one. Okay, we'll do three. You pre mark. Okay. You can cut in two for the small one, an example. 
Okay, and we're going to put back in the oven at 140. Okay, for 10 minutes. Now, a little suggestion. You put in your tray there, and see, you put them in the freezer, just by the time you uh, warm up the oven. Then it won't melt, it will be beautiful. Yep, now, here we are from the oven. So you have to put on the grid and uh, to dry, to cool the end. And as you can see, you can cut some nice pieces. Then you can put that for decoration, like a bed, like a barquette. Now, when they are cold and dry, I will show you what you can do with them. When they are cold, they can stand on the glass and you can add some fruit and decoration. You can use your parmesan sable for garnishing a meal that will enhance the presentation. Or you can make a delicate and impressive appetizer. Remember, thumbs up if you see value in the video, subscribe to the channel in support and ring this bell, you won't miss the next video.